through my emergency supply kit, uh, getting ready for a trip, so I thought I'd go through it and um, make a video to show you all what's in it. So first of all, I have it in this lovely storage bin. It's labeled. You can see all my stuff in it. Um, I don't remember how I picked this bin. I think I just picked one that a three ring binder could fit in. Um, this is not a rat toy. I just got put in here. Uh, rat emergency supply. So the first thing I have is my medical notebook. Uh, this is just a little cheap see-through dollar store notebook which has um, dosing guides, homeopathic options, and uh, things like that for the medications. I can't just see this. It's bad playing nibbles. <laughs> That's why I love them. Um, the biggest and most important thing is my pain chart which helps to see what level of discomfort the rat is in. Um, I've actually found that to be more invaluable than the dosing guides because it has helped me to diagnose problems before they would show up to the average owner. Um, most of my dosing guides have come from Real Rat Lovers Want to Know on Facebook, which has actual veterinarians in it. Um, they do not diagnose problems, but they will help you with dosing the rat because many exotic rat um, vets underdose them, not realizing how fast they metabolize things. I just want to be into pain so much. Um, so here is, I'm just going to pull stuff out and talk about it. So first we have the medical notebook. Saline wound wash. This is actually unopened. It's an emergency kit for a reason. Hopefully we never have to use it. Um, infant's ibuprofen. This is the 50 milligram per 1.25 milliliter. It is dye free because we do not do food dye in this house for anybody, pets or people. Um, berry flavor. Excuse you, eating my things. Amoxicillin. A pen. This actually goes with this item. My health log, which has a notes section and little tabs with each of my rats' names, and then it has information on anything I've ever done with them. Um, Nibbles is probably the longest because he's had the most health problems. So um, I've noted when I've weighed them, when they've get, gotten mite medication, when they've gotten other things. Excuse you, nosy. That's not for you. He knows that this kind of bottle usually has his um, yummy tasting drops that I put in his water, so he's trying to find it. The last one I had, they chewed up uh, health notes and a pen. So we have a glass postage scale, um, kitchen scale. You need one that weighs in grams. Uh, no rat should weigh 11 pounds, so this is plenty. Um, we've got Torini's syrup for di diluting their medications. I don't need that. He's so determined. Uh, little nail clippers. Um, homeopathic Ledium and Hypericum Perforatum. Let's see. Erythromycin. This is, what is it? Phenobarbital. That was for nibbles. Ervamectin. Um, Benadryl. Capsules. Because you need the powder, not the liquid. I think this has information from things I've written, like comparing cages and vets. Yes. So this notebook has like cage information. When I was, before I bought this, I was comparing a bunch of them online. Um, notes about different vets within a certain distance drive of my house. Um, different things for cage stuff I've built, like the court last, things like that. So, there's that. Let's see. Triple antibiotic ointment. Spoon for mixing stuff. Cotton balls. I have so many of these syringes because I could only order like the ginormous package, so um, these are the kind that dose up to one milliliter, so they are very, very, very tiny. Let's see if the camera will focus on that. There you go. It's very small. Most of the dosages I give are like maybe up to here max, so these are much smaller. Let me show you one that's made for human babies. 
This one is made for human babies and it measures up to five milliliters. That's five of these. This is what you'll get at a pharmacy is something like this, only with this style. These are too big. But I use this one for measuring out the Torini syrup because you use a lot more of that than you do the medication when you dilute it. Five that. Hi, Poochie. Poochie just saying hello. Okay, let's see. I have more dosing syringes that have come with other things. I just kind of toss them in here. Okay, so these came from the dollar store, and this is what I use to mix my medications in. They're little condiment cups with lids, and I think there was 16 in the package for a dollar. Um, I've maybe used like six. So there's that. Another pen. Um, this is a note that needs to go in my health log for <laughs> tumor removal for blue. If you could see Nibbles over here, he's licking the packaging because we had the Torini syrup spilled at one point, and apparently some of the plastic is still sticking. Um, we've got our Anaflaxin, which is Baytril, Broxyclin. He's like, I want all of this. Stop! No! You cannot eat all the things. Um, I had a couple of these from Target for mixing meds, and I just found they were awkward to open. So, um, let's see, this is probably expired, oh, not quite yet, um, Orbex from the vet. I save all my medications from the vet, if they don't have to be refrigerated, they go in my bin. Uh, let's see, and last we have a stethoscope. This is an actual medical stethoscope, Nichols wants to see it, there, see, see, don't eat it, it's not tasty. So anyhow. There's my emergency kit. There's still some other things I want to get, like some bandages, and I need to put um, a couple of cardboard tubes in there, um, some eye ointments, um, sorry, eye wash, and I want to get some CBD gel to put in there. Um, but otherwise, it's a com pretty complete kit, and I really haven't needed anything else. Um, I spent the most on the main antibiotics, the Doxy, the Baytril, and the Amoxicillin, and the Torini syrup came in a kit um, from Lady Goldfinch, and that was probably, I think, like 70 bucks, and that was the best investment I've ever made because I have used them, these boys, because of their health issues so, so much. So, um, hey Fred, say hi Fred. Hello, it's so cute. Um, so that was definitely well worth it, and my vet knows that I am knowledgeable and will come to her if I need assistance. So that was well worth it. The other things I added in a little bit here and there um, over time. So yeah, just like three bucks here, three bucks there. The scale costs about fifteen, I think. Um, believe it or not, that was less than ten. So yeah, um, putting together an emergency kit is a good idea. It is well worth your money, and it will save you money in the long run. Bye. Hope this was helpful.